Hi everyone, welcome back to Chilling with Chilly Sid and I'm going to do a sauce that I picked up in the summer in South Carolina and it, it's Born to Hula. Now I've never had a Born to Hula sauce before, heard they're amazing sauces um, and the wonderful Jay Webley helped me choose this one. So there we go, I'm just going to quickly show you the bottle, Born to Hula Smokehouse Blues. Now um, there we go, so I like smoky sauces. So this is kind of smoky and it's difficult when you've got so many sauces in the shop to pick one or two but i'm trying to pick one from everywhere and with jay's help we picked this one smokehouse blues all natural hot sauce so it says um down um, Damburger hollow road stands an old german farmhouse the farm barn and smokehouse now gone but the aroma of smoked meats and fresh vegetables still infuse the air we captured the essence of a simpler time gone in our smokehouse blues so it's a time that did have those meats being cooked and etc and, and, and the vegetables they tried to just capture a bit of nostalgia here born to hula all natural smokehouse and, um, and you obviously if you look at the logo that is the smokehouse that they you know the sources after born to hula all natural sources now here we've got ingredients we've got diced tomatoes and tomato juice and salt um, distilled vinegar cayenne pepper water roasted garlic chipotle chili onion lime and onion and lime juice now what i like is it's vegan um gluten-free no gum no sugar so do you know what this is a really good sauce no to everything no nothing unnatural in here it's all natural now have a quick look at the bottle it's um 148 ml bottle and if you can hear the sauce not too thick, just nice, nice, nice pour. And it's a lovely brown, like a barbie sauce. So obviously it would be. So first of all, let's go through the bottle again. So here we go. Porn to Hula. I love the name, Porn to Hula. Nice. And then the body of the sauce. Here we go. Check that out. And now the pour is nice as well. And if you look in there, you've got bits. All the seeds, all the bits. It's a lovely brown barbecue type sauce. And it is just good yay look at that focusing ah, I'm getting a bit good at this camera now after about six months so here we go let's do the aroma whoops it's got one of these little things on it mm. smoked smoky 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 coming through with a, with a hint of roasted garlic in there so you've got the roasted garlic the smokiness and is there any i'm just checking to see if there's any sugar oh yeah it's sugar free isn't it so that's the only things smoky and garlicky now they have got you have got cayenne peppers in here so we're just gonna have to see how hot they are i can't actually detect the smell of the peppers so let's try the pour now this is it guys i am really working up this one okay so i want to just make sure i get it on the screen Lots of my fans last year had fun sort of thinking, where is she pouring? Look at that. Now that is gorgeous. Chunky. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. And oh, ho. Okay, enough of that. It was going to be hungry. Now, nice consistency, nice depth, lots of texture, through, lots of bits to it. A lovely brown. I wouldn't say brown. Um, ready autumn autumnal coloured brown sauce with the it's got like a plummy hint to it no fruit in it but i think the redness comes from the cayenne peppers god smoked garlic smoked smoked sauce nothing for it down my neck thank you mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. that was nice that was really nice mm. so not a hot one not a hot one at all smoky garlicky just like it was lots of bits lots of seeds to crunch on and texture um you've got a hint of vinegar through it so it's like a fermented sauce but it's not overpowering the vinegar you've got the vinegar the garlic the chilies but it comes in phases like garlic then um there's no heat i don't think i can taste the cheap chilies in there so garlic roastiness smokiness seasoning so i can taste the salt and the seasoning and the vinegar comes in so it's a really really nice balanced sauce actually so um because of the ph nature of it and um uh, it's got the vinegar in it you, what did we say it's got the distilled vinegar in it and tomatoes and tomato juices it brings down the ph so it should be um okay to barbecue in this one um barbecuing your meat everything so imagine that it's smoky garlicky and not too hot so this sauce is actually 
applicable to anybody. Anyone can try this one. So no, you won't have anybody at the bar because then I can't eat that. It's too hot. No, this is perfect for everybody. And because it's like um, a nice rounded sauce, nice sort of flavoured, you can dip with it, dip with anything. You can use it on the pizza base. You can put it in your um, stir fries, your bag bowls, your casseroles, your, you know, anything. Shepherd's pie cottage pie whatever you're making yeah you can add it in there you can add it to other sauces to flavor other sauces and um i don't think it's sweet but you know what you, because it's not mega hot as well it's got that um yum flavor to it you can probably try this on waffles and your sort of breakfast in the morning so your eggs your bacon uh if you have waffles or pancakes try it on there yeah, so it's a very versatile sauce and I'm really, really glad I've got this one. Flavour, massive. Heat, nothing. Yeah, heat-wise, I'd say, if you don't eat chilies, this is going to be like quite low because it's more about flavour than, than heat. And it's massive on flavour. So flavour, I'll, I'll probably say, is right up there. Nine, ten for flavour. Really nice sauce. Thank you very much, Shay Webley, for helping me choose this one. And if you like this Born to Hula sauce, or any other born to hula sauce they've got a massive range and i'm going to start looking into the, some of the other sources you know what to do by now don't you order 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 like subscribe lots of comments any comments i can't answer i'll direct it to the guys to um answer them for you so thank you for watching and do you know what it's not worth for, um, fearing that reaper so just don't yeah Chin. <laughs>